morning, everybody. We're back with another video for you guys today. I told you guys Brie was done with Madden. I know they've been bringing out content the last two weeks. I, I, I ain't coming back, but we will be doing a Madden 24 giveaway for you guys. If you guys have yet to see the video, check out the description box down below. Also, will probably be a card that's probably appeared by your head by now. Also, it'll be on Twitter, also on YouTube for more information about that. We'll also be live on Kick, guys. We're like 14 followers away from being an affiliate. The first week of uh, Madden 24 being released, we will have our streams on YouTube. And it will start gradually heading over to Kick because I have been enjoying streaming with you guys over there playing games. You guys are so much fun to play with. I do appreciate you guys. But let's get into this Man 24 content. I think this year we'll be doing a lot more news and information. Also, with some gameplays, but I think we'll come back on the gameplays and do a little bit more news and information for you guys to see that's going to help the channel grow. But let's get into this Man 24 content for you guys. If you guys pre order the Ultimate Edition or whatever, the $100 edition, you will get the uh, what, Hall of Fame pack, which has a couple of players. Now, this is some returning players from last year. Also, some new faces that we didn't see last year but shout out to mentality um he uh, for some reason even on the you go to man you can't even bring the screen up so i always seem to watch him the most on twitter but we have joe thomas now this video isn't about which one is the best one you guys might opinion on it though because i don't know which one is the best one to pick because i don't know which ricky premieres you guys did and they kind of showed us kind of too late and we kind of know the ricky premier stats so as of right now i'm kind of going to be hesitant on who to pick until i see my ricky premieres player first and then we're going to go from here but the hall of fame pass protector joe Thomas archetype car is pretty solid like kind of the same as last year almost but 81 strength 80 awareness 83 pass block 83 pass block power 82 pass block finesse 85 run block 80 run block power and 83 run block finesse guys do not pick a lineman when it comes to these promos do not pick a lineman but overall a solid left tackle i mean i kind of wish that this release was an 85 maybe 86 considering you are spending 100 dollars on this edition so um i guess they're trying to have the overalls lasting a little bit longer in the game, but they seem to always screw it up in the end. But we have Joe Klecko, Klecko, I don't pronounce his damn name. Um, D tackle, 71 speed, which is, I think, I mean, at this point of the game, that's actually pretty bad, decent, actually. I thought it been, been 50, but it's 71 speed, 77 excel, 82 strength, 82 tackle, 80 play rec, 83 block shed, 81 power moves, 73 finesse moves. So, pretty solid, but once again, guys, I do not recommend picking up defensive tackle, mainly because they're Lyman. I mean, we don't know also who's going to be our team captain. So, um, but I think actually he might be kind of a better pick than the left tackle because, you know, usually the details in this game is very weak. But until we figure out who our team captain is going to be, also some of the team builders, once again, I would hold off making the decision. We have Darrell Revis. Revis Island. I'm pretty sure majority of you guys are going to be picking this card. Keep in mind, you also have Sauce Gardner if you happen to pre order leading up to the AKA thing. Um, 83 speed, which is, is another corner on this list you guys are going to see. But 83 speed, 83 Excel, 82 agility, 85 jumping, 80 play rate, 83 man, 83 zone, 83 press. So overall, I think this might be the number one pick for majority of people. Um, by looking at value and long term, just depending on what you are normally spent. But this is going to probably be the number one option for a lot of people. And then I'm really thinking on oh, my pick him but depending on some of the rookie premieres i'm going to hold off on the red reeves on day barber i think this is the worst one they couldn't even make him at least a speed slower or one speed faster but or something they made him just piss poor slow 80 speed 81 excel 79 agility ooh, 77 jumping 83 play rate 83 man 84 zone 83 <laughs> okay i'm sorry it 83 press so once again they're both short but i mean he just slower so i have a feeling these this is going to be the least card that you guys are going to pick just doing the thing team you can go and pick it but we have was a chuck howley um i'm surprised we can get howie long i think he's surprised you can upgrade, which is kind of sad. 82 speed, 80 excel, 77 strength, 80 tackle, 78 play rate, 78 block, 85 power move, 82 zone. Once again, it's a middle linebacker. We don't know if they're going to be able to animate this year. Um, I haven't yet to play the beta and look up any information on the beta until I get my hands on it myself, like the full actual release. But till then, we don't know. But he's a cowboy, 82 speed. He's faster than Rondé Barber. So he might actually might not be a bad choice if you were to look at it. I mean, being 82 speed. So I don't know his height, but once again, until we actually see the game, um, I think if he don't animate, then he's probably gonna be he might be better around a barbers because the overall the position but i mean once again it's been a linebacker so I, I wouldn't pick a middle linebacker anyway because once again we use safety's in the box marcus Ware, a lot of cowboys in this particular promo isn't that kind of crazy ladies and gentlemen um 
Um, at least we eighty two. He's also fast and Ronde. Ain't that about a um, eighty two strength, seventy six tackle, seventy eight play rate, eighty four block share, eighty two power move, eighty three finesse move. So, um, once again, if you guys have to complete the ultimate rookie like myself with Aiden Hutchinson, then you know you really need another one. But we'll see. But overall, I think he might end up being maybe number three or number two. Just depends. I think he'll probably be in Ronde. He might be number two. I think he might end up being number two. Uh, and then probably Ronde might be last in my personal opinion. But I think the Marcus Rivers might just be number two because of the pass rush um finesse but Pablo was pretty good nothing's in the 70s um solid block shedding so i think he might end up being the number two, number two pick for everybody final one zach thomas he has i don't remember the last time i seen a zach thomas because i don't think he was in 20 uh he wasn't in 21 i don't think he has it's been a while since we've seen zach thomas but 82 speed 83 excel city strength 83 tackle um 80 play rate 80 block shade 83 power move i mean hit power in 71 zone coverage so once again it depends but because of the name and probably a fa he's a fan favorite probably number three probably just depends so those are your ultimate uh not ultimate your uh hall of fame player you get to pick from the option pack you guys want my personal opinion i think that it was a lot of a lot of a lot of defensive players we could have got maybe got a receiver maybe a running back potentially a i mean i was not quarterback at least receiver or running back maybe even a tight end really mainly from what i seen was this was <laughs> defensive mainly so only one i think i remember was who joe thomas and who else i think that might have been it was there anybody else on this list because if you just look at it it was only one offensive player from this entire thing what the hell yeah but let me know in the comments section down below which player you will be picking if you happen to pick up the hall of fame edition let me know if you guys will try to answer the giveaway love you guys man i'm out peace